What is going on you guys? It is Demolition Day. Welcome back to the channel. If you missed my last upload, I finally closed the deal on my first rental property. This property is going to be a short term rental. I'm going to put it on Airbnb. There's still a lot of work that has to be done. I'm taking down this whole wall today. I think I may have said in my last video I was going to hire somebody to take this wall down, but it is like absolutely ridiculous. The cheapest quote I got was $6,000 and that's literally just to take the wall down. That's not installing countertops. That's not you know, installing cabinets or anything. And so I've just kind of like broken into the wall. Where's the light switch? I've broken into the wall a little bit inside of the closet, but I'm gonna completely take off this whole wall today. I mean, let's be realistic. I probably won't get the entire wall done today, but at least for the sake of this video, this is the whole demolition of this wall. I've never done anything like this. I don't wanna see any comments from you guys saying, you know, Logan's not doing this right, or Logan should have done this. I have never done anything like this at all. I've literally watched like five YouTube videos and I'm pretty much just winging the rest of it. Before we get started on taking down this wall, there's just a couple things I wanna show you guys first. I think in my last video, my backyard was like, completely overgrown with grass. I've already given you guys like a kind of a hint of what I want to do to the backyard. I'm gonna go ahead and open up these doors so I can show you the progress I've made. And by progress, I literally mean just cutting the grass. Here's the backyard now. I'll throw up a picture of what it looked like when I first bought the property. I mean, literally the grass was grown up to my face. All I've done so far is just cut the grass and kind of just clean up everything. I'm gonna add an eight foot fence on both of these sides, a little gazebo sitting area, a hot tub. All of this will be turf. There won't be any grass anywhere. I'll be super clean. I actually just found a picture on either Instagram or Pinterest of what I'm actually trying to do to this backyard. So I'll throw that picture up now. It's not gonna look exactly like that, but that's pretty much the vision I have for the backyard. Okay, first things first for this demolition, I need to get this refrigerator out. I'm gonna wheel it like way over there. It's actually on wheels, which is the most convenient thing ever. And then inside of this closet, it is all of this stuff half of this was here when I bought the house I don't even know like if there's paint in some of these buckets or not but I'm gonna move all of this junk out that way I have some room to stand and start knocking down these walls but yeah I think we are pretty much ready oh, I need to take this door down too I guess I'm not gonna do this today I just want to do the wall today <laughs> step by step baby steps if you guys are doing any demolition work like this and don't know what you're doing like me first things first Turn off the power. I literally just turn every single one off because I don't know exactly what goes to what yet. I'm just doing what I know, and I know that I need the power off because I'm not trying to chop into a wire and electrocute the hell out of myself. So without farther ado, I'm gonna go ahead and take a hammer. Actually, ah, oh, shit. I meant to bring a marker so I can mark off like exactly where I wanna cut because I'm measuring it because I'm keeping this whole bottom part of the wall. I'm keeping the whole bottom part. I needed to measure that. I mean, I can still measure it. I have a measuring tape, but I need to mark it. Oh, you know what? I'll just cut it. That'll work. I'm going to edit myself. I'm gonna go ahead and mark off where I wanna keep the wall. Can you guys see me? I'm gonna go ahead and mark off where I wanna keep the wall and then I'll start cutting and busting this wall down. All right, so I got everything cleared out. Everything minus all the drywall right here, but honestly, I'm gonna make such a mess. I can't imagine that that's actually gonna get in my way that much. I'm just gonna be kicking it out of the way the whole time I'm doing this. Before I start doing this, I am going to remove this light switch and then also remove this outlet right here. Everything is off, so I'm not worried about getting shocked. There's just no reason to have it right there while I'm tearing down the wall. So I'm gonna remove both of those and then I kind of made this ghetto line. So I actually need to cut it lower than that so the line is like just a safety, don't go below that. I will like actually edge everything up later. Right now I just wanna get the majority of this wall down. That way I can actually see what I'm working with and see if there's something behind there that's gonna cost me a lot of trouble and issues I would like to find that out now rather than later so right now I'm gonna go ahead and start getting this outlet removed as well as the light switch that's on the other side all right guys everything is set up power to the house is completely off everything is safe those outlets and uh, light switches are also out which means that I can finally start taking down this wall I feel like I've been waiting forever to do this. I'm not sure how the audio is gonna work. I might end up having to like put music over this and make it a montage or something, but I don't know. We'll see.
All right, a little bit of an update. I've already gotten most of the wall knocked down. My friend Landon showed up to help me hammer down. Thank you, Landon. We got most of this down. Now I still have to do, I can't knock down the wall all the way to the very end because I have this electrical box. I have this electrical box in the closet, so I have to somehow draw a line like about right here and then hammer down all of that. All right, we got most of the wall down. I just made all this mess on the floor and I just realized that I'm probably scratching the floor. So I'm gonna sweep some of this up before we knock down more of the wall. But at least before it gets dark, I'm gonna at least get most of this knocked down. I wish we had some sort of like a big tote that I can just dump on this in. Good job loading him. Would it have been a smart idea to lay something down? Probably. That just dawned In on hindsight, me. yeah. In like construction, don't they like lay down plastic and stuff? They definitely do. I, I believe it's called lay down plastic. People love watching other people sweep. Your butt is dead center in the frame right now. <laughs> All right, it is the next day. It got dark on me very, very quickly last night, but I went ahead and knocked down the portion of this wall that I wanted to knock down, the portion of this wall, and then same on this side. All of this right here is pretty much finished. So I didn't really realize this until I looked over yesterday's footage, but I didn't really explain to you guys exactly what all I'm doing for this demolition. I'll throw a picture on the screen of what it's supposed to look like, but I'm essentially taking down the whole top portion of this wall and then building an island right here. So there'll be a countertop that extends out to like about right here to make like a little breakfast nook type of area. So the countertop extends out to here. I'll have a bar stool here, here, and then maybe like two on the other side. So there'll be enough room for like four bar stools so people can sit and eat breakfast. It also just opens of the whole room because right now it's like super closed off and gross but once all of this is open and this is all gone then you can just see right through to the door and it makes the whole entire space look a million times bigger this is already such a small space that i'm working with so the second i got in here i knew i had to do something with this wall and as i said before i was gonna pay somebody to do it but then once i realized how much it costs i'm like you know what i need the experience anyways also just a reminder to you guys i do not know what i'm doing so the fact that i'm looking at this and don't know for sure that it's a low bearing wall or not to some of you might seem crazy. Literally last week was my first time ever like actually changing an outlet. I've never done that before. I've never done anything in construction. This is all completely new to me. I'm like just getting in this uh, I mean, I've been in real estate, but I don't know anything about what I'm doing with construction. But that's why I like this channel and that's why I like you guys because you guys get to see someone who's just starting out and doesn't know everything about the ins and outs of what they're doing. This is what it's really like. It's not like on HGTV where you hire, you know, 10, 15 people that come in and break down walls. I'm sure that happens sometimes, but in the real world, you'll see if you start getting into real estate, you'll have to get your hands dirty and figure out how to change an outlet and bust down a wall and figure out where the hell this pipe leads to. I'm assuming it's my shower. I don't know. I gotta get a plumber out here to tell me what the hell to do with it. But anyways, I just realized I didn't explain that in the previous parts of this video. So that's what I'm doing with this construction. I'm going to bust down, I'll take you guys over here actually. Okay, all I really have left is to bust down this portion of the wall. Like I said earlier, I have an electric, electricity, ele electrical box on the other side of this wall. So since that box is located right here, I basically need to cut a line all the way down. Yes, these are not exact measurements because I don't even have a measuring tape. I just literally just drew that just so you can see my idea. All I'm doing for the rest of today is just busting down this wall. And then I gotta get an electrician out here, a plumber, and maybe even a carpenter. I don't know yet. I told you guys, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm literally figuring this out as I go, which is the coolest part about this channel and all the videos that I'm about to make on this property and the other Airbnbs that I'm getting soon. So follow along for the journey. But as soon as this wall is down, all I have to do is order countertops because I'm replacing all the countertops in the kitchen as well. Order those countertops, paint the rest of the downstairs, and then I can go ahead and start like furnishing it. And I've already bought in like half of the furniture that I need for this house. It's just not all here yet. But yeah, let's go ahead and start knocking down this wall. Also, random side note, I had this horrible habit of like going days without sleep and then recording a YouTube video and then not remembering what I'm gonna say and you can see those big bags under my eyes. I don't have them anymore, but the reason I'm bringing this up is because I looked over the footage from yesterday. Installing countertops, that's not 
you know, installing cabinets or anything and I hadn't gotten any sleep. There's clips where like I said something again and again to try to get my words out the right way and it just didn't come out the right way and had these bags under my eyes. It happens from time to time. Everybody does it. I'm not ashamed of it. But if you're wondering why I look like I'm half asleep in the last clip, that's because I was. And so I'm kind of like living in my dream right now, as silly as it sounds because I'm just knocking down a wall in a kitchen. But this is something I've looked forward to my entire life. So it's awesome to do it, and once it's all done, I'm gonna be kind of sad. All of these things, learning all these mistakes and figuring things out as I go is like a really fun process. And I'm happy that I'm in the, uh, the position to be able to do so. Enough blabber, let's start knocking down this last little bit of this wall. Okay, just as I was tearing down this wall, I just realized something. I'm trying so hard to preserve this drywall, like on the bottom, that way I don't have to buy new drywall because I'm gonna keep that part anyways. It just dawned on me that drywall is not that expensive, first of all. I'm gonna have to buy some anyways because there's already spots where I went higher than I should have or lower than I should have. I'm probably gonna have to take it down anyways to, you know, do something with, you know, the wiring or whatever's down there. I should have just tore down the whole wall to start with. It's not like I like wasted that much time. I just thought about it. I'm just gonna go ahead and tear down all of the wall minus the like upper part obviously tear down all of the wall that way I can actually see exactly what I'm doing and before I get the electrician before I get the electrician and everybody out here yeah I don't know why I was just trying to do the top part in my head it was like let's save time and save money and just take down the top part but in all reality it's probably easier if I just go ahead and take down the whole thing that way I can just put drywall where it needs to be put a countertop and then that be it yeah, I'm just gonna take all the drywall off, that way I can actually see everything I'm working with. Yeah, I should have done that from the beginning. But, like I said, you live and you learn, this property is my end-all, be-all to make every mistake possible. Not that I'm trying to make a mistake. You're gonna make mistakes as you go along, and I wanna make the mistakes and learn from them on this property. By the time I move on to the next one, and I'm the one doing all this still, I wanna know the ins and outs of what to do and what not to do. And yes, you can learn from other people's mistakes, but the true way to learn and get better on the next property is to experiment and make every mistake that you can with the first one. It would have been smarter for me to just go ahead and tear down these walls from the beginning. Now I know for the next time, it'll be easier. So it's not a waste of time, it's just something I'm learning. Whatever, lesson learned, I'm gonna go ahead and tear down the bottom half of this wall. Alright guys, I gotta make this quick because the sunlight is going down and I don't have the power turned on to this property right now. I went ahead and cut out inside of here all of the drywall. I left the drywall on this side because upon talking to someone who actually knows what they're talking about, just said it would be a million times easier because you can just cut it and line up new drywall without having to do the baseboards and change the outlets and everything else. So I ended up just leaving it on the outside and I'll cut it and edge it up at a different time whenever I know exactly where things are going. But I'm glad the demolition, or at least most of it is done besides these boards. Now I just have to take these boards down, move the electrical, move some of the plumbing, get a, uh, what's it called? Get the platform set up for the countertops to go in, get someone to measure where the countertops are going here. I'm replacing all of these countertops as well and this sink because it's ugly and disgusting. Once all that is done, I can start painting, getting the furniture put in, and then once the countertops actually arrive, because obviously I'm not gonna install the counters, I don't know how to do that. Once the countertops get installed, I will actually be putting up a backsplash all in the kitchen. I don't know exactly which one yet, I haven't picked it out, 
Um, if you guys have any suggestions, leave it in the comments. I'll read I read all my comments and respond to all my comments. Well, all the ones that I want to respond to. Um, anyways, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys want to stick along for the journey on everything I do in renovating this property, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. Um, other than that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.